DNA is at the core of the book of Genesis. Now, if there's been one scientific discovery that completely confirms the truth of the Bible and destroys the theory of evolution, it's the discovery of DNA. The fact that digital code is the foundation of all living things on Earth. And it's not just any digital code. I mean, it's the most complex, intricate, incomprehensible digital code we've ever discovered. And Bill Gates himself admits the same thing. So how does this destroy the theory of evolution? Well, first and foremost, we know that the source of all digital code ever created is a conscious mind. Is it an intelligent mind? And second is the information doesn't evolve. It's an abstract entity. It just exists in the realm of the mind ideas and thoughts and especially not numbers numbers are absolute they do not evolve the only way information or what they call specified complex information can change is if a conscious mind actively changes it so how does the existence of dna scientifically prove the truth of the bible and it's simple if you actually read the bible in the literal way that it was meant to be read and God literally spoke creation into existence. And what that means is that information is at the root of all of creation. And not just information, when you speak, you speak in a language. And the Bible even specifies what God's language of creation actually is. And it's in 2 Peter 3, 7. And it says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store. And it's obvious what that language is. And it's an absolute language that only God could create. And we call it mathematics. Everything inside you and around you in creation is kept in store mathematically. Whether it's your blood count, whether it's your heart rate, whether it's the, the signs and seasons, or time itself. Everything is dictated and kept in store mathematically. And it's hilarious to watch all these brilliant scientists be completely baffled as to why the cosmos are run mathematically. It's like watching a dog chase its tail. And the only reason that happens is because they've dogmatically excluded the only scientifically proven and plausible explanation for it in the first place. But knowing that the Bible is literally true will do nothing whatsoever for you. I mean, Satan knows that the Bible is literally true from beginning to end. There's a reason that Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Jesus Christ will not force anybody to accept him on this side of eternity. But if you don't, on the other side of eternity, he won't accept you either. And I don't want that to happen to anybody. If you humbly ask him into your heart and into your life, he will respond.